Hi, my name is Abigail Free, and I am here to. Hi, ah, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Why do I look like that? I look weird on this. Um, so I'm gonna do like bookshelf tour slash book recommendations. Mostly book recommendations, though. Anyway, let's just get into it. Yeah. Let's start. Should I go over here? Yeah, okay. So, to start off, wait, I'm actually gonna. Okay. I'm to start out, um, I'm gonna start, like, with some of my favorite book recommendations. Starting off with this one. This is Chris Hadfield's An Astronaut's Guide to Life. Um,. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. It's not called that. It's called Chris Hadfield's An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. It's so funny. It has a few pictures in the center. It's so good. It really is. I'll try and whip up the pictures. So yeah, it just has like pictures in, in the center there. But it was so funny. I really, really liked it. It was good. It was really good. Okay. Next book, The Lost Art of Reading Nature's Signs. This is all real, so it's not like a story. It's just like talking about nature and the sky. Um, it's by Tristan Gooley. If I'm saying that correctly, I hope I am. But um, it's so good. It's super good. If you enjoy being out in nature, I would recommend it. So those are like young adult books. I think there's only like two more actually no the rest of them are all pretty much middle grade and they're so good though okay so this is definitely middle grade um this is the big fat notebook everything you need to ace world history in one big fat notebook there's a bunch of stuff on it, it this was actually a really good read it's all about you know like things that have happened time next one frog spell it's a whole series as you can see this is the first book i've only read this one but it was pretty funny though i think it's a bit for people that are a bit younger than me this book it's called the book of bad things it's by dan poblacki i hope i'm saying that right if you like a good spooky book this is for you it's it says from 5th to 8th graders, the reading level is a grade 5 level on the back. I would not say that because this thing gave me nightmares. But it was really good. It was, it was really good. Delphini and the Silver Needle. It's a reimaginization of Cinderella's mice and how one of them um, is like sewing dresses. And it's really interesting. And it is by Disney. It is so good, though. Next book, Stolen Girl. It's about a girl who is Jewish. And she gets stolen from her family and brought up by the Nazis. Um, it's very good. Um, and if you want to pause it, because this one was actually really good, I'll just... There's the back. You can pause it. All right, it was so good though. Would recommend. Don't wear polka dot underwear with white pants and other lessons I've learned. It's hilarious, but it's definitely middle grade. I read it when I was younger and it was so good, but I would say it's for people that are like younger than me. But it's funny, it's a good concept. It's just for younger kids, definitely. But it was good, it was definitely good. Then we've got this book, Spirits and Animals, Meetings and Stories. This is all about um, the Aboriginal peoples and like the natives, um, like Native Americans or indigenous peoples and their stories. 
and this book is <laughs> so good. It tells you everything, the stories. It's so, so good. I would really recommend that one. Yeah, now I'm going to do like an if recommendation because this book wasn't my favorite. But I know it's a classic and I'm just staring at it in my shelf. So I think I'll show it. Is this James and the Giant Peach? Wasn't my favorite, surprisingly. And if you've read The Witches, it's the same author. I hated The Witches. The Witches sucked. I hated them. And I just got mad. I just got mad about it. Alright, I'm gonna move to my next shelf. So Come on. Next, moving on. I'm gonna get rid of this for a second. Um, there's a bit of a mess on the floor here. So, yeah. Let me just start. <laughs> so, first book recommendation. This book. I honestly don't know what happened to the dust jacket, but it looks so cute. It's called Secrets at Sea. It's about a bunch of mice. And it's so good. They take this ship. Um, but I'm not going to tell you too many spoilers because I honestly think you should read this. And it's by... It was really good though, and I would definitely, definitely recommend. Should I turn on my fairy lights? Cutie! Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, bam. We have this. The Time Tripping Faradays. This book, oh my god, I annotated this one. First book I ever annotated. Probably the last book I'm ever going to annotate. I just didn't enjoy the annotating process, but it's all annotated. There's like a couple romance. See? Yeah, it's a good book, but I would not. No. Um, who's it by? John Stephen. It's good. I think it's a series, though, because this says number four, but I only read this one. And it's The Time Tripping Faraday's The Outlaw of the Sherwood Forest. It is so good. <clears throat> Charlotte's Web. I'm not recommending this. I don't know why I worked it out. <laughs> it sucked. Let's be honest. Um, then we have the Geronimo Stilton's Kingdom of Fantasy. I love these. I still love these. I'm never not going to love these. These are just too good. They're too good telling you they started me off with fantasy so i'm not done with that <laughs> um we have a few more geronimo stilton books these this was a series for the 50th anniversary it was like the hunt for series for their oh 10 year anniversary and i have two books from it they're good but not my fave i like the kingdom of fantasy better Somebody's car is being stolen, if you can hear that. I'm um, just kidding. It's probably not being stolen. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on from that. This series. It's called The Dragon Keepers. And this is so hilarious. And um, the first one is called The Dragon in the Sock Drawer. Second one, Dragon in the Driveway. And the third one is Dragon in the Library. These are so good. They're probably for kids younger than me. These are middle grade. Like 8 to 12, I'd say. But they are still so good. Oh my goodness. They're so good. I'm still going to read them. And this is not the entire series. There's more of them. I just haven't read them all. But I am planning on it. So you're going to have to wait for that. But yeah. I'm going to move on to my next bookshelf. Over here is like my bedside table. I have a few books there. And then my Harry Potter thing. And then I have a couple books there's one book right here, um, and that book I would recommend, but I'm just sitting on my floor right now, so it's kind of hard if you can see my face or not, I don't know. This book, all the Harry Potter series I love, but I have extra books, so if you just want to pause it, try and see if you can see these books, go ahead. I just don't feel like talking about them, but any book that is Harry Potter, I probably have it. 
actually no i don't but i have a <laughs> lot of harry potter books but one book that i wanted to actually single out from the whole harry potter series the cursed child I, which i actually liked which is why i have two copies is this book a mini book of graphic design this book is so cool it has so many nice like art pieces little information it's just so cool and i really loved that book and i would definitely recommend it yeah moving on to my bedside table yeah um under here is the books that i haven't read so <laughs> i'm gonna show you oh my god this one is so heavy it's the chronicles of narnia i know everybody's read narnia so have I. I've read Narnia, but I've not read them all. I've read the first three or something like that. So I just got this book, this ginormous book of every single book all in one. But it was slow at the beginning. I, I did start it, but it was slow at the beginning. So I, I stopped. I know, I stopped. Um, next book. This book I've had for, like, ever. I'm not excited to read it anymore. It's Life of Pi. It's a classic. You've probably seen the movie, but so have I. And I was gonna read the book, but I didn't. Anyway, moving on to my next book show. So, I lied. Come back for part two. Come back for part two. Bye. I lied. <laughs>